Hello and welcome to a new Let's Play of Star Trek Online. I am your host, the Crimson Phoenix. And today, we're going to be doing Task Force Hippocrates. Now, before I do, I am going to introduce to y'all a new thing that has uh, came out here into our realm of STO. Now, um, I'm pretty sure, I'm not too sure if I covered this part on the kit, but there, uh, but there is a new kit here. Um, not too sure if I covered this, uh, a customizable kits, um, thing where you can put in, uh, different sorts of modules. The modules, on uh, this, um, I think you can get them by, um, rewards as well as loot. And now you can also get them from loot. But another way you can get the modules is, no, that's not it. Um, is here, uh, within the kit modules. Because you have all these different types of modules now um, that you can get to customize into your um, into your kit. Right now, I'm, uh, right now this thing is almost only limited by one assault. So right now you, you see all the different types of things that we got here. We got the assaults and the um, uh, strategic, so you can do that now. Another thing that is new, I'm going to let you know right now. We are in season nine, a new accord, and and this and this is uh, going to be, um, of course, after the season 8.5 episodes, about uh, which is of course a sphere of influence. This uh, the next mission is called Surface Tension. It's continuing off of Sphere of Influence, and of course, a step between the stars. So, and also has T uh, Tim Russ, um, who is of course um, reprising his role as Tuvok, as you see in, uh, in here. Anyway, there are, they've updated a bunch of stuff. They've updated uh, missions featuring the Borg and Undine, have an update with new art and gameplay improvements. They've smoothed and smooth out and everything here they've added a few new um, stuff in here as well they've added um, you know they've added at least three new SCFs um, undine infiltration um, we had a way you know you can we had to go down the bay door to see gal shape shifters um, which of course 8472 can shapeshift undine assault and uh, vicious cycle you know other stuff They've added a new reputation, which of course right now we can't see, but um, of course I'll show you those reputations once we get there. They've added a whole bunch of other stuff, including a kit, re including the kit revamped, where you can now add the modules to your kits and customize power abilities to your captains during combat, which you can do all here. Another thing they've done, they revamped the trait system. Now. We're still limited, of course, by how many um, traits we can we we can get. We we can get up to eight. However, in the personal traits, I'll let you know right now. You, you and before you had if you had to redo your traits or anything, you had to you had to actually spend Zen in order to do that. Here, you don't have to. You can activate and deactivate any of these traits. Right now, defaultly, I got Accuracy, I got Resilient, and Soldier Activate. If I want to, I can deactivate any of those, and you can do all this, which I like. I'm right now going to put in um, Elusive on here, just because it's going to help in, in my defense. But yeah, you could go in and out of these traits. You have to, of course, um, level up to use ne uh, next next trade slot. Now here, of course, is something different that they did. And before we go on to Task Force Hippocrates, I do want to show this little thing off here. So let's go ahead and pause this, and I'm gonna go to one of my other characters that has reps um, that has reputation traits, so that way I can show this off to you. One moment here. As soon as this thing pauses for me. Okay, so 
not only am I going to show you the new trade system on this character for um, reputations, I'm also going to show you this new interior. If you're not sure where we are, if you read it right here, this is the new look for Earth space dock. So they've not only revamped the, uh, so they've revamped a lot of stuff, and I have to say I do love the new look for Earth space dock. Uh, this is uh, just so you know, just so everybody knows, I may have introduced this character before or not. This is my character, my main character, Rick James Veneer, captain of the USS uh, Tempest, his main ship in role playing. Um, right now he's on Crimson Dawn. A um, Avenger class starship. Yeah, I got some fleet stuff in here, but anyway. So they revamped a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, over here, of course, is where requisitions is. For uh, you can go in here for, of course, um, commodities, um, personal equipment as well as um, uniforms and whatnot. <clears throat> over here is the exchange. Some people may like this um, in the exchange because it's something that I've actually that um, some people will actually enjoy. These are live energy credit um, average pricing. This is the actual index for what's be uh, for what is being sold live right now on the exchange, and. You know, you may not be able to, and some people may not be able to read the prices uh, very well, but these are the live prices for everything. RCS Accelerator, common, um, didn't see the mark, but I know I saw that at 400. It was probably a mark 10 or a mark 3 or somewhere around that. But anyway, so this is the exchange. They got the shipyard over there. Over there, you can, you can see the transporter room, the infirmary. They've done a whole bunch of stuff, including a new operations center. But right now, I'm not going to go in too far into that because I don't because uh, I don't want to try it. Well, you know what? Never mind. I lied. Oh yeah, little pet there from New Ron Millers. But anyway, here we go. Here we go. Space dock operations. Just go into here, and there's Earth. Quite a pretty sight there. And this is and this is and this is actually what it's gonna look like outside when you go into um the thing. Oh wow, didn't realize and that's actually more really cool there. But yeah, those dry docks are there. Before there used to be a little bit of a station that was out there, not anymore. You, those dry docks are there so they've revamped a lot of things here in SEO, in SEO and a lot of it's pretty cool I mean oh wow they even got this here oh, see I've never been over here I did not know they had this conference room here so you know this is an adventure for me oh yeah <clears throat> and here is where you can of course Bridge officer training, um, re requesting bridge officers, as well as speaking with the skill trainer, and uh, of course, uh, Commander Belt and a bunch of other people that can uh, talk with you. That's actually pretty cool. Galaxy class, US Challenger. If it, now, I highly doubt that these ships are live player ships because these are actual ships from um, you know the sh the um, ships. Um, most of them are some of them are actually ships that I, that you may, that some people may even know, like the USS Rhode Island Nova uh, Nova class. Well, actually, it's supposed to be a Rhode Island class. I don't know why they have that registered as Nova. Um, Lakota. I saw earlier, here we go, Geronimo. Odyssey. Oh, Odyssey, and so has the NX-97-7000. And of course, Sovereign. NCC-73811. Still flying strong there. Cerberus and a bunch of other, and a few other 
ships out there and cores and um Nice. A few, uh, you know, a few other good ships out there. That is actually pretty cool. Now, now let's uh, switch over to what we were we were originally gonna look at, and that was the reputation stuff. Now, before in the re in the reputations um, tree, whenever you unlocked. A rep tree. You had to choose between one of the two, um, one, one, one of the two perks that you got here. Like in the in Task Force Omega, you had a choice between um, medical nanites, which of course gave you regeneration and health, as well as between the Omega weapon proficiency. Same thing, and you know, same thing for the Nakura um, Strike Force, New Romulus, the Dyson Joint Command, and now the new. Uh, and right now, the, this is the changes that they came out with the new 8472 Counter Command, which this is the 8472 Counter Command against the um, uh, against the the Undine. So now, in the traits, just like the personal traits, you can go back and forth between them. You can activate which ones uh, you want, and you know, um, go between them. Now, in the old reputation system, these traits, in the old system, the ones that you chosen were all active. So, like in the tree I had before, I believe I had um, in Omega, um, I had the weapon efficiency, the um, hull repair. Uh, so either the gra uh, yeah, it was either the graviton. Yeah, it was the graviton. Um, Pulse module and as well as, as the Omega Graviton amplifier. And Romulan, I had the um, lethality. I had the precision and a couple others and such here. So I, I have a bunch of traits here that you know um, all of them were active at once. So I have multiple traits, and for some of us who had, you know, all tier five on, you know, from Dyson to New Romulus, Nakura, etc., you know, a lot of us were uh, pretty much a little bit on the OP side, on the overpowering side. Now you're only limited to four um, with the active with the um, reputation. Now <clears throat> with the active. Which this is pretty much for you know on the quantum singularity manipulator medical nanite cloud and as well as the other as the other stuff which for Nakura it's going to be the refracting ta uh, tetrion cascade for the Dyson Joint Command it's going to be the defiance which is a massive damage resistance buff and for the new um, counter command which its active ability. Let's see, biomolecular shield generator, which of course creates position, um, fixed position shield generator in space combat. That uh, yeah yeah yeah. So it does that. So, and when you go into the traits, active you can only select four at a time, ground and space four at a time. Now. I know and I do believe that this may have gotten some negative um, feedback from some of the players out there, especially most of them who uh, who I do understand, you know, have worked their asses off. I completely understand. You worked your butt off in order to, you know, get to tier 5, just like I did with New Romulus and, and Task Force Omega. Dyson and Nakura, I stopped at tier 3 and you know slowly working on them right now but you know at the same time this is actually you know let's be honest one this makes things a lot more balanced so you're not having to you know um you, you're not you're not having to you know for one spend money to go back and forth with retraining your rep trades and you know having to you know switch back and forth with them now you can, you know, switch back and forth with them freely. Yes, you're limited to only four, but 
do you really need more than four? Like right now, I got Omega Kinetic Shearing, I got the Graviton Amplifier, the Precision, and the Advanced Targeting System, which does good for damage. I can switch back for the uh, back around those uh, for you know for me to be more of a tank rather than uh, than a DPS blitzer. But this is how I got it. You know, same thing for the ground. You really don't need more than just the four that you that you need to make yourself um, you know a tank, a blitzer, or whatnot. Now, the only problem with these are. Is you can only do you can only switch out of the in and out of these trades if you are not in any type of what would be considered a combat zone. So if you're on a mission, or if you're in an STF, or you know even anything like a diplomatic, like anything anything that's an instance where you may be attacked or you're in a mission. You cannot switch back and forth in them unless you are either A within sector space or B within a non-combatant zone. So that's going to be either, you know, within or outside of space dock, in or, or outside of DS9, K7, Kronos, New Romulus, etc. So, you know, that's the only downside, but however, it makes sense because honestly when you're in a mission you're not going to be able to pay who would go back and forth in these with a mission unless they are you know that unless they really do not know what they need so honestly you're good on that so that's what's new new trade system which honestly I love because the good thing is that we can unlock all of these traits and not have to worry about them I'm going to, uh, you know, I, I, I cannot wait to go uh, to get myself into the um, A472 um, counter command because you know this is actually this seems like it's going to be um, really good, especially especially with some, with with some of the um, the buffs that this does. I mean, like look at this one. Uh, my, it says it grants a minor accuracy bonus when a tactical bridge officer ability is used. So, that's going to be interesting. And plus, you know, I haven't gotten too far into the Dyson Joint Command um, ability, uh, um, stuff. I'm working on that. But, I know I'm going. Uh, I'm going to at least enjoy this uh, for the, uh, for the A472 counter command. Also, a good thing. And this is something new that they uh, decided to do as well. Now, before in the uh, reputation stuff, you had to. Um, uh, 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 well, other than Dyson command, you had to uh, buy the unlocks for the store. Now, you don't. All the store stuff is unlocked. It's right there for you to buy. Of course, you're going to have to use uh, the lithium to get everything. But, good thing, you do not have to buy the unlocks. Which, I, you know, I, I enjoy that. Because that means that it's less resources you have to spend. Plus, nothing. a good thing is that you don't have to spend as much resources to buy get the unlocks than you used to. Now, especially in Dyson Joint Command, because in Dyson Joint Command, instead of marks, you have to get commendations. Luckily, they switched that out to where you can only do marks. Now, you do have to work on for the marks, but now, instead of... Let me pull up an old one. That's not it. Okay, well, I can't pull... Well, I cannot pull up any of my old... Um, uh, so, but before, I'm pretty sure I'll probably show this, we had to buy, you know, certain, um, you know, certain commodities like the medical supplies or anything. Now, it's just energy credits, experience, and Nakura, and Nakura Mox. The only thing you have to buy commodities for, I'm pretty sure if I look down here, oh, no, nothing. It's all energy credits, it's all Nakura Mox. And of course, the lithium for some things. 
So that's all this stuff. And of course, new weapons, biomolecular disruptor, and biomolecular um, phase of full uh, phase of weapons. These come from the A472 counter command. So, hope and you know I've already tested them out a little bit. They seem pretty well. I haven't tested them out in actual combat. I've only tested them out, you know, like sh um, just seeing how they look. They seem all right. Hopefully soon I can see about um, get, uh, testing them out in actual combat for you. So oh, take a look. So that's all the dark star. So this is um, where they show all the dark dark sh starships and all this. Oh, that's so pretty cool. Okay. Well, enough of this. I've already spent enough time on it. Oh, hey, take a look. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> okay. So we're done here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get us back to Conan. I mean, Conan. And let's get to that mission. All right. All right. We are back. Beginning Task Force Hippocrates. I just realized I got the damage on the Cherokee, and I don't even know where that damage came from, but oh well. Yeah. Some missions you'll get that damage thing, shield system, which is gonna cause a debuff on me, but it's not gonna be that bad. Debuff in this case. Oh, yes, new lockbox. Undine. If you're able to get the right one, you may be able to get, if you're able to get lucky, you may be able to get an Undine, um, uh, bio ship. So let me still move all this right here. Okay, now, this is one of these missions that they've changed a bit, um, for Stone. Where I remember how it used to be. So I'm kind of going to, so while I'm doing this, I'm kind of, um, I'm going to kind of give you a little bit of play by play of how this used to go. So after destroying, you know, those ships back there, you know, of course you have to get, you have to, um, activate the solar collectors. Well, in here, it's only three. The old version of the mission that used to be four. And I later discovered that the fourth one's here is just, you know, deactivated in the mission. So I'm going to show you that here as soon as I destroy this Orion. This is Orion. Well, I won't know if I'm dead. Actually, I don't even think that was Orion. I think that might have been Gorn, but anyway. So, you activate this little golden piss stream of semen. I probably should not have said that, but okay. <laughs> little gold stream just flying out towards the boys. And there used to be four, and there's the fourth one. I'm only going to assume that this one's probably, you know not act and not active in the mission simply because it may be damaged but I don't know uh, there's like two groups here the first one we already destroyed the second one's gonna be is right over here what is that? Is that Gorn yeah that's Gorn so I had wrong earlier it's been a long day. And this is what they do. So, for some people who may use Gorn ship, who may use the Gorn support ship, 
The Dragus support vessel has that acetone simulator, and that thing is a pain in the ass for for Federation. Uh, I only say that simply because, you know, the acetone simulator you cannot destroy it with energy weapons. You have to destroy it with a projectile, simply because you know that thing will drain your energy, and. Whenever you fire a um, an energy weapon at it, it sends out that green pulse, and that green pulse, if you're not if you're unlucky, can't damage you. Cause that green pulse is pretty much you know radiation. Now this pretty much is um, part of the um, a little bit part of the old mission here. So there they are. They, basically, on this one, you got to um, protect the, the, the pal. And right now, we're uh, we're still going up against Gorn. Come on, die, you little An arena pleb. They call me a pleb. Random explosions just popping out of nowhere. because they can't exactly do much of any damage to me. Let's go do my shields first, but that's not doing any good with them. Oh, hey, another Undine Luck box. I will say, if any of you have a chance of getting, you know, these um, batteries for your ships, you may want to use them. Simply because uh, these batteries uh, can help you out in uh, some situations here. And a little mini game to get that stuff. Yeah, well, I fired out there earlier to say it was a mission seeking torpedo, which tracks both vessels. And it does a little extra damage as if it was a um, high yield torpedo. Why am I not firing? <laughs>
Okay, yeah, I think I'll definitely be down to help secure the area. Why not? Ooh. Oh yeah, they added to where you can, uh, where some oh, some people, if they wanted to, can add in their own um, their 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 own uh, images onto the ship. I mean, onto onto the um, on the ship. Why did I say the ship? I'm drinking. Yes, tired. To uh, their own person, uh, their own fan-made pictures in game photos on the loading screen. That's what I was looking for. Now exactly how you get all that submitted in, I'm really not too sure about that. Alright. Now I'm just realizing here that I got this standard, you know, tactical kit. But I don't exactly have a module in here, so... I don't got that much in the lithium, but that's you know that's gonna be okay. I don't think I'm gonna need that module. Now, that's me, of course, saying I'm not gonna need it, and then you know coming to find out later, I probably am gonna need it. But uh, you know what? We're gonna throw caution to the wind and. Attack the Gorn! Klingon and Gorn's here. This spells okay. It's always fun when you get when the sneak attack happens. I'm early, apparently. <laughs> Use to the green lizard. I thought fighting these things were supposed to have been, you know, easy or something.
So that's some interesting stuff in here. Anyway, so let's uh, talk to the captain here. Now, we're not exactly done yet, because I just realized, you know, talk to the patient from here. So we could just completely miss that. Now we can depart the system. Now that everything is secure, I completely forget, uh, forgot about that. <laughs> Congratulations. And there we go. Commander. And now to the next part. Franklin Drake. <laughs> I'm not going to say too I'm not going to say too much on Franklin Drake because uh, I really do not want to spoil much and it looks like we can get a new officer now. So, okay, I got I'll go for an, I'll, I'll go for a Sarian uh, candidate. This is this is Sarian. And I think that's gonna be it for right now. I mean, we've uh, covered a bit and we covered quite much here. I uh, also I love the new uh, my uh, my new graphics on this thing because if you haven't noticed here, uh, the graphics are a lot better and probably a lot more smooth. The game has been running a lot more smoother. That's because I did get a new computer and so this thing is working a lot more better so I am hoping for my new for my next let's plays that you know smoother smoother recordings uh, be uh, better uh, better graphics and hopefully also I may be able to do other sorts of um, let's plays in different games I have been thinking about you know like the Skyrim or any other uh, type of games out there. I haven't completely gone too sure about that, but we'll see. So I'm gonna end it right here. I am your host, the Crimson Phoenix. I bid y'all a good night.